Yeah, that thing puts out some heat. A lot of flame. Okay. Get in there. <laughs> what a wonderful, restful, peaceful night's sleep. And we'll call it i'll try to get i gotta figure out what to do with the truck but what's up gang well we just arrived met up with uh ben here he got the spot for us last night um it is completely just mud soaked and disgusting and hopefully we're, we're out of the we're out of the clear with the, all the bad rain but ben you got here last night around 10 uh 10 30 11 o'clock yeah in the <laughs> dark <laughs> in the dark and <laughs> He, we did a collaboration together last year at Ray Roberts when it was 106 degrees outside, and that night we had a hailstorm. Today, around two o'clock when he was here, this is what he experienced. All right, I am in a hailstorm, and Hoku and I are in the truck, and I am getting plummeted. Um, huge ass hail. God, my truck's getting trashed. So he's got really bad luck coming to Texas and hooking up with me because the last two times he's been here, it's hailed on him. So hopefully we don't get any more hail. I did bring my little giant black balloon caterpillar hail protector just in case. But all I have is a tent, guys. That's it because I don't have anything on this truck. Unlike Ben, who has now got the, the overlanding setup all done and in fact i got here and the guy's already cooking me dinner i'm not going to complain <laughs> so we got curry something curry chicken and it's got it'll have potatoes uh, onions carrots uh, celery uh, it's, and then we'll have it over some rice i've got the rice cooker going on the blue eddy and it's <laughs> it's sort of like a, a japanese uh curry it's it's not spicy at all but it's it's good for cool weather so it's which is the good thing that it did cool down a whole lot. It was 95 degrees at home yesterday and it's 70s. <laughs> yeah, it's probably it was, the low 70s right now. Yeah, it, was, it was hot yesterday and it feels good. I probably could be wearing pants, but guys, I, I'm not even going to undo the truck yet. All of my life basically is in the back of my bed, but I'm afraid because I got to take it all out and put it on the tarp. And if it starts raining, uh, I'm not, I don't know what to do with it. But I think there's just one more round that's potential supposed to come and, and hit us, but uh, I don't know if I mentioned, we're at Linden B LBJ Grasslands here in North Texas. And it's one of the few areas uh, really in Texas that, that what you guys consider BLM, uh, B Bureau of Land Management or federal land, we don't have a lot of that here in Texas. Uh, this is one of the exceptions. Uh, there's farms kind of on this place. It's it's really a, a unique place, and I'll try to get the drone up to show you folks a little bit better, better view of it. But the, my first dispersed camp, I was telling Ben when I got here, my first dispersed camping experience, and I don't have a truck camper, <laughs> so, naturally. But I got a tent. We're going to put it in the back of the truck and hope that it doesn't rain on us. But we were here for two days, so a lot of shenanigans probably 
to ensue because this this one's crazy you don't know yet but he's nuts so i'm gonna let ben continue to get dinner going and uh figure out what to do with my life and all of my stuff that's in the truck and uh we'll catch back with you here pretty soon kind of starting to get the truck kind of situated but i pulled it back from where i was parked but i pulled up the truck where it's a little bit more level ground this is the only blanket that i brought and it's it's going to get chilly tonight and i was more worried about keeping keeping cool than keeping warm i brought my air conditioning unit <laughs> this was the only thing that i brought to sleep in this tiny little tent and ben and i were talking and i think i might actually do the whole sleep underneath the tonal cover thing again because this bed's six foot ten inches I got a really thick air mattress that I can lay out. So I think I might actually stay warmer if I don't sleep in that tent. If I just pull this tonal cover back and kind of sleep underneath that, then try to set up this tiny little one person tent that I bought to use to put back here. So I'm just gonna kind of wait to see, see how this evening unfolds um, in terms of how I'm gonna sleep in this thing, but everywhere's kind of muddy and kind of gross. But it's very, very quiet out here, obviously. There's, there's no one out here. No one's quite as dumb as we are. Um, but I think dinner is just about to be served up there at the, uh, at the bin compound. And uh, I could use some dinner, but, but as far as all this stuff is concerned, I think I'm just gonna leave it in the back of the truck for right now, because I don't know what to do with it. Um, I did bring my projector. Hopefully we're gonna watch a movie. There's a couple of trees where I can string up the uh, projector screen somewhere around here. Not really sure where yet, but it's kind of a bummer that it's so wet and muddy, but it's also good that it's not 105 degrees outside too. So we'll figure out this whole situation, but I think it is definitely time for a drink. So we're going to get something. Which way does it open? Uh, here we go. So this is going to be my first beer since I think last June going through the refrigerator at home to get uh, supplies for this trip I saw these and I figured let's bring them let's let's enjoy an angry orchard so I'm gonna get this cracked we're gonna go up and talk to Ben and then uh we'll get dinner cracking <laughs> she's like don't get near me I'm eating yeah that does smell good yeah that's good Try to make it on a, one of the camping trips. We made it for everyone that I made it for. They're like, hey, can I have the recipe? It's really no recipe. You just kind of throw it all together. You know, so, Well, I brought uh, for my meals a bunch of peak meals, freeze-dried meals. But I swear they taste good. I like them. And I brought some um, some apple co uh, peach cobbler peak meal. Oh, those, those things are good. Are they? Have you tried the cookies? No. The, the, the cookies ones are good too. Well, I brought the peach cobbler, so we'll give that a shot. Okay. Because they look good, but man, they're. I, I bought three of them, and my tab was 40 bucks or something. I'm like, whew. Peak makes rich some really my good blood. stuff. And uh, I think they're one of the best, uh, the best uh, dehydrated oh, yeah. meals. Compared um, to like Mountain House, it's, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, but and it's cool too. They got the little vent that coming out of it. I mean, yeah. it's just like if you're geeking out on a meal, <laughs> that's uh, we that's... geek out on freeze dried meals. <laughs> Here you go. So this is what chicken curry? Chicken curry. Man, he even cooks me meals, Here's brings me silverware. I'm gonna go camping with you more often. <laughs> See, guys, my first time trying curry. And all I can tell you is it smells fantastic. Let's give this a shot. Well, there's plenty. Good. You like can, spicy. you can make it spicy, but I don't make it spicy because I don't know how spicy people like their stuff, but you can make it spicy if you want to. You got something to drink? Yeah. Cool. Well, I think I have decided to forego the tent for a couple of reasons. Kind of underneath the tree, they're leaking a whole bunch of crap all down in here. So I do think I'm going to sleep underneath the tonal cover tonight, but it's going to be much better than when I did it earlier this year. 
I didn't have any kind of sleeping pad. So I brought my uh, air up mattress this time, which is gonna be much more comfortable. So we're gonna get this thing taken out and uh, hopefully get, get camp set up here in the back of the truck tonight. Because Ben behind me, he's got his nice, beautiful, huge rooftop tent. He's just laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, Ben, you want to snuggle up tonight? I got plenty of room. Hoku can have the entire tent to herself. Are those the cookies from, from Mom? Yeah, so got two types of cookies. This one, you said your daughter likes pineapple. Daughter loves pineapple. So those are Hawaiian biscuits. And then this one's coconut. So. Awesome. Thank kids, you so, so much. So this is straight from Hawaii. This is where Ben's from. And uh, I guess his mom sent a care package for me to bring to my little kiddos. Some coconut cookies and some pineapple Hawaiian biscuits. So they will tear this up. I might tear it up before. I've, I've got to have uh, proof of life. Oh. Uh, them <laughs> eating it and opening it up. Uh, I'll, send you, I'll send the video then of them, <laughs> of them eating it. So this was all the stuff that was in the back of my truck that I just had to put on a tarp <laughs> to give me room. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. But I've got a ton of room back here now. I guarantee I might be more comfortable back here than you will be in your tent. Yeah, you got that mattress, so that thermo rest. And yeah. So, so and then you got this cushion here. Pad. So. Oh. That is a perfect fit. They know how much I like to get a clean truck. But uh, this is a brand. It's always better when someone cooks it for you, too. <laughs> I got teriyaki chicken for tomorrow oh. night if we do tomorrow night. Well, that or, I, again, I bought Peak, Peak Mills. Save it. Yeah. Save it. I, I mean, the chicken, I can't let it go bad. That's true. I got teriyaki chicken. With yum yum sauce. Yum yum. You yeah. can't go wrong with yum yum. <laughs> Have you had yum yum sauce? No. Oh, okay. It's the it's that white sauce that they have at the uh, Japanese restaurant. You dip your your uh, meat in there. It's called yum yum sauce. It's like a. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're going off on a tangent. You dip your meat in it, and it's white and. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, but, uh, this is my tiny little blanket that I have. Tonight, I'm gonna go ahead and undo it and let it kind of fluff up. But this is a, a 3M Fensilate blanket, so it should be should be fairly warm. It's not very big, but it should uh, it should do the trick. I got that. I think we're set. Now it's time. I'm gonna try to make some ice to make a cocktail for Mr. Ben and I. I am going to try to make a little bit of ice here, gang, for, for a cocktail. Never used this out in the wild, so I don't know how well it's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. And let's make some ice. And yes, it is May, and I do have a booty on. So it looks like Ben got himself one of those lava boxes that we're gonna enjoy sitting around tonight. And I did bring my projector, so hopefully we can get some kind of movie night going. But he's got this thing going. Wow, <laughs> perfect timing. Yeah, that thing puts out some heat. a lot of flame. It puts out way more than the Ignic does. That's the one thing I liked about the uh, lava box more is that uh, you can get a much bigger flame off that thing. All right, let's see how handy this ice maker is. I mean, it's ice. That's pretty cool. Let's 
Let's make some more. Huh. All right, so beverage of choice to start off with. Tito's. And some Walmart cherry limeade carbonated water, essentially. That's going to work out just fine. And then you can't forget the Skittles. Skittles are my, uh, my weakness. Love Skittles. Uh. It started out, it was like tick, tick, tick. I'm like, oh, it's not too bad. And then it started getting louder. And I rolled, cracked the window down. And I was looking, filming. I'm like, man, they're getting bigger. And then I saw the leaves started all falling. I'm like, man, it's got to be getting bigger. And I'm like, shit. So I, I parked up. I hugged the tree line over there. And I put my window, like, under that section right there. Yeah. So at least protect it. But... No. No, I think it was... Okay, just stay on the line. Just don't leave me alone. <laughs> well, gang, we just finished up the, the movie. Uh, I can't even remember what it was called. Luther something. Son of the Fallen. I don't know. Netflix movie. It's a pretty good movie. And uh, I got to tell you, gang, it is, it is much chillier out here than I ever anticipated. <laughs> I'm gonna be cold tonight, sleeping in the back of that thing. Um, I have no pants. This is Ben's jacket and uh, it's gonna be cold tonight, but being out here so far away, it's kind of hard to describe how dark it is, um, but there is just, there, there is no, no light whatsoever. And all the, over, all the clouds uh, from the rain of course, there's no moonlight, no stars, nothing, but it is just pitch black. And uh, I can't even see where I'm going, but it's gonna be a cold night. That's all, that's all that I know. Middle of May, guys, and, and I didn't bring who would have thought to bring pants and a heavy duty sleeping bag? Not this guy, but I think I'm gonna go warm myself up with uh, <laughs> Ben's lava box over here. Cause sitting there watching the movie, I was getting pretty cold. Man, that is, that puts out some heat. <laughs> that feels good. That feels real good. I warm up here by the fire. Ben's getting his little setup to video how he's gonna get his 100 pound German Shepherd up into that rooftop tent. So I figured I'd show you folks too. That's how <laughs> you get a hundred pound German Shepherd into a rooftop tent. All right, guys. Well, I cut off all the lights to try to minimize the bugs that are going to follow me into the back of this truck. So once I get here and get underneath it, I'm going to turn on the bed lights so we can see a little bit, but God, I'm absolutely, I'm bonkers. This is stupid. But I think it's gonna be pretty comfortable though with this little air mattress. So here we go. So far so good. Snug as a bug in a rug. All right, I'm gonna get my clothes off. Well, 
I'll jack it off. And then uh, I'll see you folks here <laughs> in just a little bit. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are, we are cozy. I got the bed lights on now because I finally got the tonneau cover snapped in place and I got the tailgate pulled up, but it looks worse than it really is. Um, this air mattress is super comfortable. Got the blanket going on. And with this bed being six feet, 10 inches long, I've got all kinds of room to stretch out. So it's really not that bad. Um, yeah, it is. Never mind. I don't know what I'm saying, but I might put up the tent tomorrow night, but I think this is going to be fine to sleep in tonight. So <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. I have a feeling I'm not going to sleep extremely well, so I'll probably be up pretty early. So we'll see you folks in the morning. Ugh. Restful, peaceful night sleep. Hey, Hoku. I tell you what, it's kind of weird waking up seeing a hundred pound German Shepherd staring right at you. I don't know if you guys can see Hoku right there. In all, in all honesty, it really wasn't that bad. It was just a little chilly. This mattress is super comfortable. This tiny little blanket that I have actually kept me pretty warm. Uh, I would have been a little bit more comfortable with maybe some pants and a long shirt, but uh, it was a little chilly, but it was doable. So, <sighs> there we go. I love the setup with the, the bed lights and this uh, little power station. It came in pretty handy last night, but, <sighs> well, I think I'm gonna get up brush my teeth, cook some coffee, and then I brought some uh, a peak mill, a freeze-dried biscuits and gravy mill. I've tried the Mountain House biscuits and gravy, kind of tasted like warm jello and sponges. Wasn't that great, so I'm gonna try the, the peak mill and see if it's any better. So I'm gonna get my life together and uh, see you folks here in a little bit. Is it?
Turkey sausage. Turkey sausage. And I'm still waiting on my uh, peak meal to <laughs> rehydrate. <laughs> it was good though. I tasted it just after I stirred it. They're good. The sausage and biscuits are, are pretty good. Um, I like it. It's it's a sausage and biscuits. The apple cob or the blueberry or the apple cobbler. Mm -hmm. The cookies. The cookie bites are really good. And it, if you could put it over ice, like if you have vanilla ice cream yeah. or. Uh, um, uh, like the sherbet or the low fat and you just crumple it over it's pretty good i didn't see those when i bought the, i bought the peach cobbler I'm, we'll try that tonight but i didn't see the cookies yeah got quite the spread here guys so i'm gonna try this uh peak meal first i was surprised but there's actual biscuits in here yeah chunks yeah <laughs> well like the mountain house mills they were like little dots of bread this is i got two big look at this <laughs> that's a biscuit Hey, you gotta risk it for the biscuit. You gotta risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> well, two thumbs up on the biscuits and gravy. No doubt, it's good. And Ben's turkey sausage and egg whites. I got way too much food. I can eat all of it. But I really wanted to try this to see if it was worth the 10 bucks. And I gotta say it is, I think it is. So peak if you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> Send, send more, send some, and we'll uh, test it out. And then tonight, I can't even, I gotta zip this up right now. We got the peach cobbler from Peak Mill. So it's, I've never tried a dessert from any freeze dried company. So he says they're good. I've never tried them. So we'll give that a go after he makes more dinner tonight. I swear I brought, no, I didn't bring food. I brought Peak Mill. <laughs> I wasn't really, I wasn't relying on him to cook everything. No, well, that's. I just come with easy stuff though. He's. Got all kinds of crazy stuff back there. Well, last time you cooked, I think our last, our last outing, you you had you made your ribs. Um, yeah, but you had steak too. Yeah, that's about the only thing I had because I was buying food along the along mm. the route. But you made uh, some habanero mango. Yeah. I mean, you made like three or different, two or three different flavors. Uh, we didn't have a movie though. Um, no. We didn't have much before that before that so, storm. Yeah. Came. Last night we watched Luther. King of, or Luther the Fallen Son. God, that was a weird movie. That was it, a, was, it was a weird movie. I got to give it a thumbs up though. I thought it was pretty good. It was. I was a. I had to turn on, put the fire up. I didn't know some psycho would come out of the woods. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was. That was a good movie. So if you guys want to, it's not a kid movie by any chance, but no, <laughs> it was pretty good. Well, we kind of wrapped up breakfast and we're just hanging around uh, chit-chatting, but we're in Texas underneath a lot of trees and the bugs have come out in full force. So we've got all the thermocells going. Got this big guy right here cooking. I got one on the back of my chair, my little flex tail. Not gonna focus. That Hopefully that thing will work. Ben's got some spray. Hoku's trying to keep some of the flying insects away, aren't you? But you can hear them. It sounds like uh, it sounds like there's drones flying everywhere, but it's just all the bees that are flying around. But we've got a pretty good surprise for you guys tonight. Uh, something I didn't know was going to happen. But Ben just talked to one of his friends that have a, a pretty big Instagram account, right? Yes, Black Truck Adventures. Black Truck Adventures apparently is in the area, and they're going to come by here tonight and cook us street tacos for dinner. So. Had no idea that was going to happen. So I ben, didn't either. <laughs> he didn't either. So Ben's not going to have to cook his dinner tonight again. It's going to be another uh, couple 
that's going to show up here and cook us some street tacos texas style so that'll be fun so we'll we'll of course show that to you but there's not a whole lot to do here during the day so we're just kind of hanging out around our non-campfire chit-chatting and killing time so we'll check back in in a little bit so when you're dispersed camping of course the first thing you got to do is get internet because <laughs> that's what dispersed camping is all about so we got Ben here in the back getting every getting a Starlink set up. I got 67%. Oh, I might have to throw on my panels. I've got 600 watts in my truck. I might have to borrow your cable. Um, yeah, I'll see if mine fits. This right here, this. Uh, let's see. Let me turn. I'll just go bring mine's right out here. I'll just see okay. if it fits. Yeah, I'm not thinking we're going to get too much service with that thing pointing <laughs> up into the tree. I think it's but, still tracking. Okay. How many watts is that? 200. 200. Well, how much I get out of it or how much is... 50. <laughs> Damn, did I bring an extension? Here, Ben. I just wanted to watch you sweat it for a little bit, but I brought this. <laughs> oh God! Thank you. Now it'll reach. Now you can put that thing actually in the sun. I actually forgot that I had that <laughs> until about two minutes ago. 107 oh, watts. now. That's not bad. Yeah. I got 50 going out, so we got free. Now there's quite yeah. a bit of there's there's quite a bit of shade on this too, so yeah, that's pretty good. As long as I got more, almost twice as much. I would take 100 watts off of all that shade. Yeah, that's not bad. So we're getting 150 mag upload. Um, wow. I'm surprised because that there's a lot of trees up there. So we got free internet. Well, it's not really free, but we've got uh, 150 megs. We've got a hundred and over 110 solar coming in, and only 60 watts going out. So we have free power from the sun. So we are now glamping. We're roughing it. <laughs> what do we do with internet now? I don't know. Um, I feel like we need to do something. Hey, we can live stream all day long. Huh. We can we can uh, set it up where we can just live stream all day long. You can yeah, come along be... and camp with Brian Waters and Semper Gumby. That'd be interesting. <laughs> uh, Casey Irwin is on their way. So Black Truck Adventures are on their way. Cool. Can you fit in? Okay. He makes my truck look like. She's friendly. Okay. She, uh, her tail's wagging. Well, I love dogs. Okay. So, I'm a dog person. Hoku, friends. <laughs> hey, get your ball. Get your chewy. Bring, bring your ball. Make friends. Go get your ball. Get your ball. And those are ribeyes? Shaved? New, New York strip. New York strip, okay. That looks terrible. It probably is terrible. <laughs> I don't know how I fell into this luck with Ben cooking dinner and then this awesome couple showing up making New York strip street tacos. I don't I don't know what happened here, but I'm not gonna complain too much.
grilled jalapenos. Are you kidding me? Wow. No. This is the way we roll. <laughs> we need to roll like this more often. <laughs> well, the lovely street tacos are done. Look at this. This is insane. <laughs> New York strip ribeyes. Or New York, that doesn't York make any sense. <laughs> New York that's strip that's street tacos. I don't think they made enough meat, but I'm gonna dig into this. All right, check these out. Thank you to Miss Paula, Mr. Huh? Casey. what Texans do, right? They, share they, they feed each other, huh? They do. You can't have any of this, no. <laughs> Sorry. Hoku. I just gave you a treat. You and me, Hoku. Just wait. And you guys grew the uh, onions in your own garden and stuff? Yeah. Really? Our backyard. We made a raised to bed. Pulled it right before we walked. That was the final that's thing that's we did. the last thing we yeah, did was pull Casey the went out and yanked an onion. Well, Miss Paula, it was, I don't know if y'all are leaving right now, but it was yes. very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, too. Thank you for the Instagram um, instructions. <laughs> and following my tiny little channel. Yes. <laughs> thank you, sir. You're very well. Appreciate it. Thank y'all for having us. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. I'll thank see you, you guys again, yes. I'm sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, I don't know where, some expo or somewhere. Yeah. And, yep. Um, somewhere. So, you know, but uh, it's been a pleasure. And uh, thank you for uh, for the food. Yes. It's been really great. Yes. So This was a, a great afternoon. Yeah, it was. We really, we really enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. We really enjoyed it. Uh, it was good. Um, You're dying, aren't you? Yeah, I am. <laughs> it's one of those, oh, God, where's the nearest gas station? <laughs> I can't even keep this steady. <laughs>
obviously more than welcome to show up next year when we do this if you're in the north texas area but yeah we're we uh we're gonna try to, to make this some kind of annual event to where we all kind of meet up and just have a good time so there she is we're gonna give this a shot tonight who knows but uh ben's up there trying to figure out how to take a shower I'm like dude we're camping who needs showers? You got it set up? Yeah, I mean, I can show you. I can't wait. Turn on the pump. Got this thing. Woo, she works good. <laughs> <laughs> it's heating up. You hear the I heard the hot water? Yeah, I heard it kick on. Yep. Let's turn this thing up to 90 degrees. Feel that hot water. Oh, okay. That's kind of <laughs> warm. <laughs> but you can turn it down to, I usually keep it down at 7 degrees. Shut the pump off, shut it on, and I don't know. So that's a well, night two. Kind of the same thing that you folks saw on night one, except tonight we're watching Project Power with Jamie Foxx. Some porn movie. Yes. I'll listen to him. <laughs> but we got the fire going. The uh, the Project peach cobbler. the peach cobbler is brewing. It only takes five minutes, and uh, we're still fighting off bugs because the rain did not happen today. So the bugs are out in force, but. Still overall, a really comfortable night. And Mr. Benedict is excited about the peach cobbler. I can tell you, man, I'm gonna pause this for a second. I don't know if that's gonna be copyrighted or not. Yeah. Good gravy, this smells good. The bowls are right there. Okay. Oh. And Benedict, he even gave us Spoons, man, you come prepared. Hey, that's what Semper Gum do you mean? All right, here's your here's your bowl and your spoon. Um, let's see. So you got more than I did, so here. No, you're good. You're fine. Okay. Fat, fatty's got to eat. First taste. Taste. <laughs> Stop, girl. That's good. Yeah, it is good. Um, I don't understand how they can make it taste this this good. Cause that was good. That was um, really good. So, thank you for making uh, thank you for making uh, dessert with the movie. So, yeah, I do. What do mm -hmm. you know about Clint Eastwood? Not enough. What do you think? Uh, bridges in Madison County. That's yeah. actually pretty good. One. All right, well, gang, we actually had to cut the movie short tonight because Ben and I are both pretty tired. Uh, we had a pretty full day of doing nothing, essentially, but we're still tired, so <laughs> he's got his light up. We're going to take Miss Hoku again up in the tent. I'm going to let her out and use the bathroom. Yeah, do her thing, but... Super sweet dog, but I'm going to head to bed and uh, crawl back into my little coffin. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you folks in the morning, but overall, super fun day of absolutely doing nothing. Except meeting, meeting a couple of cool people and having a great dinner. Great company. So, we'll see you in the morning. Okay. Good night, Hoku. Thank you Big for, girl. Thank you for the peach or the cobbler. And us. I'll be up probably early and... I'm, I'm sure I'll, I'll be up with you because okay. I got up last or yesterday around or this morning, probably around three or four, and just kind of hung out until okay. I heard your drone flying. But <laughs> oh, there'll be no drone in the morning. No, we're we're heading out. But okay. I'll see you in the morning. All right, buddy. Into the coffin we go.
I'll cut the lights off and I'll see you guys inside. All right, well gang, <laughs> I'm back in the coffin and I'm not gonna try to make it sound like this thing is, uh, it's super comfortable, but it's really not as bad as it probably looks on camera. Um, and tonight is not nearly as, as chilly as it was last night. So I think I'm gonna have a little bit better, better of a night's sleep than I did uh, last night. And this stupid little air mattress makes all the difference in the world. And of course my pillow, and honestly, I don't even need this blanket tonight, at least right now, because it's not quite as cold, but um, I think we're gonna try to head out in the morning around 6, 6.30 a.m. So we'll see how much I can film of our getaway in the morning. But Ben is heading out from here and going straight to, I believe, Arkansas. And I'm going straight from here to home. So <laughs> um, we'll see how it works out. But gang, thanks for, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you folks in the morning. Thanks for tuning in. Good morning, final day. <laughs> I had my truck scheduled to start this morning at 6 a.m. and I forgot it and it just woke me up. So I guess it's time to get up. Sorry about that, Ben. What's that? I, I had my truck scheduled to, to start on its own. Oh. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh man. I don't know what bird that is, but it's been making that noise for an hour. relentless <sighs> all right I think we got to start packing up because he's got to he's got to head to Arkansas I got to get all the stuff put back into the truck
Well, that's a wrap, guys. Truck is loaded up. We're gonna go up here and help Ben out. Wish him safe travels on his way back to Arkansas. And we're gonna head out of here. Need help? Yeah, I got air in the tent. Can you pull down on that? On right, right here, the shell. Yeah. It's slippery. Yeah, I got air in it. Yeah. Watch your hand. I know. Yeah. I can see that hurting. Don't forget your screen. Oh, yeah. All right, gang. Well, that is a wrap. Ben is loaded up. Uh, not quite as cleanly as, as when we got here, but everything's wet and muddy and nasty. So he's going to have to clean up when he gets to camp. I'm going to have to clean my stuff when I get home. But overall, just a great trip, man. Thanks so much. Man, good seeing you making, again, man. Making yeah. The, making the long drive <laughs> to come down here. And at least it wasn't hot, but you still got held on. Yeah, well, it wasn't too bad. The truck, the truck fared well. And... Like I said, hey, if you have traction boards, put them on the windshield if you're stuck in a hailstorm. Yeah, that works. <laughs> so I think we're going to try to make this some kind of annual annual trip and uh, kind of grow it as, as, as the years move on. So we'll see how this turns out. But uh, I think we're going to head home. He's going to wrap this up and say thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.